Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday, the 17th of January. Canada sees drop in Indian students amid political row. Maldives Inc. deal with Turkey for drones to patrol its seas replaces India. And Pakistan rattled after Iran attacks alleged militant bases. And now for all the details, amid the India-Canada diplomatic dispute, Canadian Immigration Minister Mark Miller has informed that the number of study permits Canada issued to Indian students fell sharply by 86% late last year after India ejected Canadian diplomats who would process the permits and fewer Indian students applied due to a diplomatic dispute over the murder of Khalistani terrorist Hardeep Singh Nijjar in Canada. In an interview, Miller said that he believes the number of study permits to Indians is unlikely to rebound soon and the relationship with India has really halved their ability to process a lot of applications from New Delhi. Indians have formed the largest group of international students in Canada in recent years. Diplomatic tensions erupted after Canada's PM Justin Trudeau said there was evidence connecting Indian government agents to the murder of Hardeep Singh Nijjar in British Columbia. And days after Maldivian President Mohammed Muizu set a March 15 deadline for India to move out its troops from the island nation, Mali has signed a $37 million deal with Turkey to buy military drones to patrol its high seas. Notably, it was done by India previously in partnership with the Maldivian Defence Forces. Muizu, perceived to be pro-China, broke precedent and went to Turkey as part of his foreign visit instead of India after a visit to China. Maldives is one of New Delhi's key maritime neighbours in the Indian Ocean region, but ties have strained ever since Muizu came to power late last year. Maldives and India came to odds as three deputy ministers of Muizu's government made derogatory comments against Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Pakistan on Wednesday said two children have been killed and three others were injured after Iran launched air attacks destroying two bases of Baluchi militant group Jesh al-Adl, which Islamabad described as a violation of its airspace. Strongly objecting to violation of Pakistan's sovereignty, the Foreign Office described it as completely unacceptable and issued a warning that it may have serious consequences. The missile attacks took place on the day the caretaker, Prime Minister of Pakistan, met with Iran's foreign minister on the sidelines of the World Economic Forum in Davos. Though Iran has engaged Daesh al al militants in border skirmishes in the past, the execution of cross-border missile attacks had never taken place. Moving on, the Baloch protests against enforced disappearances in Pakistan have completed 55 days, with hundreds seeking accountability from authorities in Islamabad to know the whereabouts of their missing loved ones. A report. The protests against enforced disappearances in Pakistan's capital and across Balochistan on Wednesday entered the 55th day, with demonstrators appealing for global intervention to seek accountability from authorities in Islamabad. The outrage erupted after extrajudicial killing of a Baloch youth in November and led to a long march towards Islamabad in December. And since then there have been arrests police crackdown and FIRs against the participants. The Pakistan government has termed the protests as mere propaganda, refusing to address their grievances so far. Activists have long blamed Baloch people have been targets of so-called military operations for the past several years, while Islamabad continues to exploit their natural resources. Last week, the UN Special Rapporteur on Human Rights Defenders also said that spurious criminal complaints against peaceful protesters should be dropped. The UNDP in its latest report has informed that under the harsh rule of Taliban, the economic insecurity in Afghanistan has worsened. The report reveals that 69% of Afghanistan's population faces a shortage of necessities, including healthcare, essential goods, suitable living conditions and vital job opportunities. 
The organization's findings highlight the attack on women's rights and its consequences alongside the collapse of the banking system in Afghanistan as undeniable setbacks. Since coming to power, the Taliban has imposed severe restrictions on women, including ban on education and working with aid agencies, both domestic and international. And Sikh devotees across India on Wednesday celebrated the 358th birth anniversary of their 10th spiritual leader, Guru Gobind Singh, by offering prayers and pondering upon his teachings. Hundreds of devotees gathered at the famous Golden Temple in Amritsar city and took a holy dip in the sacred shrine despite dense fog and cold. Guru Gobind Singh was born in the year 1666 in Patna. His major contributions include mobilizing Sikhs into a martial community for the protection of their religious beliefs during the Mughal rule. He also ended the concept of religious leaders in bodily form by instituting the Holy Scripture Guru Granth Sahib as the eternal spiritual guide. आज श्री गुरु अपने दसवें पातशाह श्री गुरु गोबिंद सिंह का प्रकाश दराज जी श्री हरमंदर साहिब आज नमस्तक होना है जी ਸਾਡੇ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਤੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਨੂੰ ਸਾਰੇ ਸਭ ਸਿੱਖ ਜਗਤ ਨੂੰ ਸਭ ਪਰ ਵਰਲਡ ਨੂੰ ਗੁਰੂ ਦੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਪੁਦੀਆ ਸਭ ਲੱਖ ਲੱਖ ਵਧਾਈਆਂ ਜੀ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਕਰੋ ਜੀ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਕਰਾਂ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਨੂੰ ਗੁਰੂ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਨੂੰ ਤਰੱਕੀਆਂ ਬਖਸ਼ੇ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਸੁਖ ਸ਼ਾਂਤੀ ਬਣਾਈ ਰੱਖੇ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦੀ ਤਰੱਕੀ ਜੋ ਕਿ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਨ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦੋ Early on Tuesday a vibrant procession was also organized in Amritsar during which devotees sang religious hymns and school children played musical instruments while some of them displayed gatka the Sikh form of martial art Sikhs form about 2% of the nearly 1.4 billion population of India and are largely concentrated in the state of Punjab and in capital New Delhi That's all in tonight's edition we will see you same time tomorrow good night Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.